this yeah. one. Yeah, so Tito says, hello all, I'm looking for a holistic approach to secure my Azure backends like app services and function apps. By secure, I mean control what we can talk to these services and how. I looked into securing backend services with APIM, but that doesn't prevent me from going directly to the backend around APIM. I know, Neil, you had put some comments in there. You want to? Yeah, go ahead. Comments. <laughs> yeah, so for me, this it was for me, it was more about the scenario. Right? The API management front end is going to offer an ability to do oh, a whole bunch of things, right? Manage and control, provide essentially an access point for multiple APIs. And you can secure them, all right, and control the access to them. However, it is, a, in many respects, it is just a, or not just, but it is a kind of a, um, a pulling together of those APIs from different locations, right? So it basically provides kind of a consolidated view of where they are. Those APIs still exist in the original locations. So is the concern here that um, he's trying to control the access to those APIs from external users? Or is it just that he can hit them up internally? And if he can hit them up internally, that may not necessarily be an issue. But if he, if his real concern is, I only want things to go through the management API, then there's things you can do, you know, in terms of controlling, you know, uh, think about simple, simple, some, some of the simple Azure security scenarios, like, you know, network security groups around the location of where the API is hosted. Those kind of things are, are elements you can do. I think we need a little bit more of a bigger picture about what his concern is, about why he can do that, and what he's trying to protect it from. Yeah, I would agree with Neil 100% on this because really this is, the more information on this, this is really a, uh, gets into a lot of different areas uh, around the API security. And there are multiple ways that you can handle it, like Neil had described. And it really focuses on, um, again, as he said, internal and external. Uh, but what what is his overall goal? I mean, he, he mentions that he wants to control uh, what can talk to these services and how uh, but we need more information because it depends on the service as well um, and how that service is being addressed. If it's being addressed, you know, externally, if it's being addressed uh, only by a, a certain VNet, if it's a, you know, uh, you know, if it's only uh, uh, isolated to a specific uh, uh, Azure group um, or uh, any type of RBAC that uh, lays behind the application. So th there are a bunch of questions. Uh, I feel personally that this is something that, you know, might take a little while to kind of feel out. Uh, but at the same time, um, I, I, I think that if we understood a little bit better, we might be able to get a, you know, a, a, a better answer around uh, what he's looking for. Thank you.